Hey, TikTok people, it's your boy Chef ORD. Tonight we making some barbecue pork chops, some mashed potatoes, some gravy, and some asparagus. Something cheap, simple, easy, a $10 meal lady. As you see, I got my pork chops, my mashed potatoes, my gravy package, and my jar of asparagus and my barbecue sauce, all my seasoning. So let's get to it. Okay. First, I'm going to start off by seasoning my pork right here. I got two different cuts of pork. I got pork chops and I got country pork ribs. I got all my seasonings right here, as you see. And uh, I'm not going to sit here and uh, measure them out. I'm just going to sit here, eyeball them, just put a dash of this, put a dash of that. So let's get to it. And I also add Worcester sauce or some hot sauce into the uh, pork too as well now I got all my pork mixed up right here as you see all the dry ingredients the mustard the brown sugar the Worcester sauce and the hot sauce mixed into the pork I'm about to put into the pan right here as you see okay I got into the pan right now as you see got a little bit of water oil Worcester sauce and all that, and that's about it. I'm about to cover up with some aluminum foil to put it into the oven. Between 400 to 450, about 25 Fahrenheit, I mean 425 Fahrenheit degrees. Okay, so now I took them out of the oven for a bit. I'm about to base them with some barbecue sauce, some sweet baby ray, sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. You can use any type of barbecue sauce. And again, this is just a $10 meal right here. So now I have them all saucy up as you see right here. All the pork, I'm about to put them back into the oven and all that. And by the way, I turn my oven down between 350 to 400 so that way that barbecue sauce could stick on to the pork chops and the country pork ribs as you see right here. Okay, while the barbecue pork is cooking in the oven and all that, we're going to make the side dishes. We're going to start with the mashed potatoes, as you see, all the seasonings right here and all that. Onion powder, garlic powder, basil, thyme, salt, pepper, milk, the butter and all the cups and all that. We're going to make the gravy and the asparagus right up there, as you see. Okay, so now I got the mixture, the butter, the milk, the water, the seasonings to make the instant mashed potatoes right here. As you see, we're making like a garlic and herb mashed potatoes right here. So I'm going to boil it up and then throw the mashed potato flakes right here into the pot with the liquids, as you see. Okay, so now I have my potato flakes in the one cup measurement right here, as you see. Plus the liquid, so I'm gonna mix them t together to make mashed potatoes right here, as you see. And this should how your instant mashed potatoes in the package should come out after you take the pot off the pan and mix the potato flakes with the liquids and all that. This is how it should come out. Next, I'm about to make some gravy, as you see right here, some brown gravy. I'm going to season the water with some black pepper and some salt into the water with the pot inside there. Okay, so now I'm going to mix the gravy package into the boiling water right here, as you see, to make gravy. Okay, now you see all the seasonings right here and asparagus. I'm about to start the asparagus right here as you see right now by cooking it. Okay, so here's my asparagus cooking in the saute pan. As you see, I'm about to cover it, reduce it now, let it cook. And the final result is, boom, look at this $10 meal. The country pork ribs, the pork chops smothered with barbecue sauce, the saute asparagus in the jar, mashed potatoes and gravy, throw some biscuits out, got some hot sauce. So stay tuned for another video, folks. Peace, I'm out.